Good Thursday morning, everyone. We want to begin with new details overnight from the investigation into former President Trump's handling of classified documents. A Trump employee reportedly told federal agents that Trump directly ordered documents to be moved. Meanwhile, Trump will be the focus of today's January 6th committee hearing, what could be the committee's final public hearing. ABC's Jay O'Brien has more now on both investigations, including what we can expect today on Capitol Hill. Jay, good morning. Rhiannon, good morning. This final January 6th hearing will not feature any live witnesses, but committee investigators say we can expect something significant. The House Select Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol will hold its final hearing today. Members are promising substantial new footage and significant witness testimony. My only goal was to ensure the integrity of the vote. Since the last hearing, multiple members of Trump's cabinet have testified behind closed doors, along with Ginny Thomas, the wife of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. She told the committee she still believes the election was stolen, but insisted she had nothing to do with the violence on January 6th. She talked about certain text messages that she had exchanged with former Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Uh, emails have also been revealed of Ginny Thomas communicating uh, with state officials, for example, about overturning the election in that particular state. We could see more of that. Meanwhile, new developments overnight in the investigation into classified documents found at Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort. According to the New York Times, security camera footage obtained by investigators shows a long-serving aide to Trump moving boxes out of a storage room before and after Trump received a subpoena for the documents. The Washington Post reports it was Trump who told a staffer to move the boxes to his residence. ABC News has not independently confirmed the reporting, and it's unclear if the employee in the Times report is the same employee Trump reportedly directed to move the boxes. In a statement to the Washington Post, a spokesperson for Trump did not address the allegations directly, but accused the Justice Department of, quote, dangerous political interference. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.